Can you give me an example of a food that's a vaccine? You recognize? Them? Yes, sir. Uh, University of California, Riverside, has already perfected the ability to put human vaccines into our lettuce right now. Also, toma also tomatoes has the ability to do that also for UC Berkeley. And then uh, our Big Tobacco, R.J. Reynolds and stuff, has perfected the ability to put a human vaccine in, into the tobacco products. Chairman Clements? And is that even legal to do in the state of Tennessee to sell those with a vaccine in them? You recognize them? Uh, well, I, I'm not arguing that point. What I'm saying is there is no law deeming those that when you go into a grocery store, you should know as a consumer, this head of lettuce is a head of lettuce. The head of lettuce right next to it could contain a vaccine in it. All we're saying is if it does have the vaccine in it, make sure it's listed as a pharmaceutical so people can get the proper dosage. And my question is, is right now, can you walk into a grocery store and there be a let head of lettuce for sale that has a vaccine in it? I don't think that's allowed under state law presently. And if it is, and you have to list it as a pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical, are we going to then have Walgreens pharmacists with a refrigerated section? I mean, how's this going to play out? You recognize. Thank you. This is more of a consumer protection bill right here, is to make sure that if you're going in to buy tomatoes and there's a polio vaccine in there, that you are aware of what you're buying has a polio vaccine. The problem you have is if it's not treated as a pharmaceutical, being the size and difference between you and me, how many tomatoes do I have to eat to get the proper dosage versus how many tomatoes that you have to eat? And if you eat too many, do you get a, a overdose? If you eat too less, like we had in the cattle industry with aramycin, we weren't dosing our cattle properly and the horn flies were developing an immunity to it. If we don't have the proper dosage of a vaccine, it could lead to the efficacy of that drug not, not, not work anymore. You recognize? Well, I'd like to think I'm more immune to horn flies than you are, but um, <laughs> I, I, I say that in, uh, jokingly. No, but I, I, right no, now, I, I, my question is just, is, is there a need for this? I understand there's a concern, and yeah, people shouldn't know if there's a vaccine in food. But I, if we can't even sell food with vaccines in it in the state of Tennessee right now, then is this legislation necessary is my question. Well, if you have a child that is allergic to a certain vaccine and it's not disclosed when you go to buy that, that, that vegetable or whatever it is, and your child dies from that, I would think that having something in place that's going to make sure that that is treated as a pharmaceutical so that the consumers know exactly what they're buying. All those in favor of House Bill 1894 say aye. Aye. Opposed? No. Eyes have it. Bill goes on to counter and rules. If you wish to be recorded as a no, uh, please notify the clerk. All right, Shalom. Giving all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders, great millstone, and rule will. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing the true doctrine across the four winds of earth and all truth in and sincerity. I'm the Mahad Ariyah from Mr. Camp. Lord willing, this be an edifying lesson. All right. Now, as you can see, the, the madness, more madness that this devil got up his sleeve. Okay. And as you can see, in Tennessee, they was getting ready to pass this law giving the green light to put the scene in tomatoes, lettuce, and tobacco. This is more wickedness that this devil is doing. Trying to destroy the people, man. And they pass this shit into law. They okay these type of things, man. That's why this man has to be destroyed. That's why this man has to be put down like the mangy dog he is. Okay, because he's just foaming at the mouth doing all matters of wickedness, man, that is not benefiting society. It's not benefiting the people, man. So I'm going to go and get into the scriptures. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 11, starting at verse 18. And the nations were angry, and they, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and the saints, and them that fear the, thy name, small and great, 
and should have destroyed them which destroyed the earth. And that's the point. Destroyed them which destroyed the earth. And when you go into the NLT, it say it is time to destroy all who have caused destruction on the earth. And we know primarily that's Esau Edom, the so-called white man, okay? Where he have done all matters of wickedness. He's polluted the air with chemtrails. He polluted the water with lead, you know, and who knows what else, chlorine. You know, uh, he has polluted the food with, with GMO. And now we see that he's putting the scene in it. You know, and who knows what other matters of wickedness this man has done, man. That's why the earth don't bring forth or yield its fruit like it used to because he has pretty much the chemtrails and all this other shit not uh, honoring the land Sabbath has brought, you know, damn near desolation to the the, the earth, man, where it functions and, and produces the way it should. You know, when the Lord, when Yahweh Shai created all things, when you read the book of uh, uh, Genesis, he said that it was good. But now this, this devil wanted to be the most high. He is rearranging and that scripture say he has turned everything upside down. He's anti-life. Okay, he's anti-production. Okay, he he's he's pro-death and pro-destruction. But that's why the Lord is gonna put this man back under the foot of the Israelites, man. He's gonna go into captivity for a thousand years and be utterly destroyed because he's the cancer of the earth. And we all know cancer has to be completely cut out. So this man has got to be completely cut out of uh, civilization because his root cannot be allowed to grow again. So I'm going to get another scripture here. All right. This is uh, the book of John, chapter 10, verse 10. The thief come is not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am um, come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Because Leave it up to this devil, like the Lord said. Uh, let's see, shorten the days, no flesh shall be saved. Roughly paraphrasing. So the Lord is going to deliver his elect, man, and he's going to bring destruction and judgment on this place because this devil has has gone too far, man. His sins have reached unto the heavens. He's run out. He's run out, man. He's doing way too much. You know, he's he's doing the brain chips. He's doing uh, uh, pretty much trying to turn people into basically cyborgs, and we know he's going to come with their MOTB, right? So when he come with the MOTB, hey, it's all over then, man. Then Yahweh Shai is going to return with the heavenly host of angels, man. And Jacob's trouble is in the midst. It's brewing. It's right around the corner. We see the potential collapse of the economy real soon, man. The grid is going to go down because the devil know he has but a short time. So he's getting ready to come down with that great rabbit, as the scripture states, man. So if you don't have the zeal, that protection of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, you're going to be caught up out there, man, and, and, and it ain't going to be good, simply put. But this devil, man, like the scripture said, destroy him that destroyed the earth. And as it say in NLT, uh, uh, it's time to destroy him that destroyed the earth. You only get to read, bring it out one more time at the latter end of Revelation 11 and 18. It is time to destroy all who have caused destruction on the earth. And we, like I said, primarily we know this Esau Edom. This man has a a, a lack of, uh, a lack of, what's the word I'm looking for? Nourishing, nourishing when it comes to civilizations. Okay, he's, he's, a, he's a bad parent, man. He has no clue on how to operate in a civilization that should flourish and righteousness because why his his soul is not upright in him as the scriptures say he was estranged from the womb this man he has no he has no spiritual ability to do right man he only can destroy that's why he's the counselor of the earth and that's why he's going to be utterly rooted out and destroyed as a nation after a thousand years of captivity so yeah, I just thought, you know, that was through the spirit. This would be an edifying lesson, man, to see how much more of these devils are continually to do wicked, man, and pollute the earth, man. So, hey, Lord willing, this is an edifying lesson. I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Ruel. Peace and salutation to the hopeful elect. Shalom.